Hello Aries, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today for Aries. So we do have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, but it came out in the reverse. Um, you know, this could very well represent somebody wanting a second chance with you and you not necessarily wanting to repeat it, um, the relationship, I mean, but we'll see. We'll see. We're going to focus on you first and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Aries currently view this relationship? So we do have the four of pentacles. We got the eight of wands. And then we also have the tower. Okay. Let's look at your person. How does this person currently view this relationship? Okay. Okay, we got the lovers. Ooh. And then we got the devil. And then we also have the nine of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck. Hmm. We have the Emperor, we also have the Ten of Cups, and then we also have the uh, Three of Wands. I'm not entirely sure why I'm getting this, but for some of you, you might be scared of this person, or you might fear this person, or this person gives you like really bad um, anxiety. But whoever this person is, they might be slightly older than you. One thing that I will say is that this person's very controlling. They have two cards that basically represent somebody who's extremely controlling. Um, Let's focus on you first and then I'll jump over to them so that way the reading in itself flows um, and it all makes sense. So when it comes down to how you're currently viewing this relationship, with the Nine of Wands, I don't like this energy because I feel like the relationship in itself doesn't make you feel good at all. Like I said, you know, this relationship between you and this person, it might cause you to have a lot of panic attacks and or anxiety because I am kind of getting that for some. And for some, and this is just going to resonate for a small portion of you, you might fear this person. I mean, these two cards can definitely insinuate someone who is abusive but nonetheless we have the four of pentacles we also have the eight of wands and then we also have the tower <sighs> this kind of feels like you're trying to escape this connection here between you and this person and i feel like you definitely have your reasons as to why you want to escape this connection here between you and this person but i don't I don't feel like they respect that though that's my thing i don't feel like they respect how you feel but nonetheless Whoever this person is, and like I said, they might be slightly older than you. They have two cards that basically represent somebody who's very controlling. This is that type of individual where when they want something, they're going to go after it and they're going to make it happen. That's this person's overall energy. So when it comes down to you, you are basically what this person wants, okay? And even though you may not want anything to do with this person, even though you might be viewing this relationship as something that's extremely unhealthy for you, that doesn't really matter to this person. You gotta understand that you're dealing with somebody who, when they have their eyes dead set on someone, they want what they want and and, and that's that, right? Uh, with the devil coming out here for this person, I mean, it could definitely represent that this person is like, possibly a little bit borderline obsessed with you but the fact that we have these two cards out here i mean this is somebody who definitely feels really strongly about you that's one thing that i will say they feel extremely strongly about you there's a very strong um attachment here that this person has um towards you you could be dealing with a virgo possibly a capricorn maybe a gemini we also have pisces and aries out here strongly so you could be dealing with another aries how does uh aries currently feel so we have the Ten of Swords, we have the World, and then we have the Page of Cups. I feel like you're being too nice. I feel like you're being too nice. Mm. And this person might try to take advantage of that, okay? I feel like you're being too nice about this entire situation. This is kind of like an overall idea of like, listen, sorry, but this is just not going to work out. You know what I mean? I got to I gotta go. I got to go. I got to go. Uh, I feel like you're being too nice about it, though, which is... Which is why I kind of feel like this person, they might even take your kindness for weakness. So just be aware of that. Be aware of that. How does um, this person currently feel? Okay, we got the Page of Cups. We have the High Priestess. And then we also have the Ten of Cups. With the High Priestess coming out here, this could definitely insinuate that there was a separation that already took place here between you and this person. And there probably wasn't a lot of back and forth communication here going on. If that is the case, this could definitely represent this person breaking their silence. But 
going based off of how this person's currently feeling about you again it's more of that overall energy of somebody who does really feel strongly about you and the relationship that they share with you right even through the good and the bad times it just kind of looks like this person still very much so wants to be with you right that's the overall energy that they're, that they're coming in with okay i almost i almost called you a sag you could be dealing with the sag it doesn't necessarily have to be the case but not only that, on an intuitive level, I mean, this person does essentially feel like you're basically the one for them, even though, unfortunately for them, I can't quite say the same. I can't quite say the same. I can't. Um, it just kind of looks like you're trying to wrap this up here between you and this person, and they're not allowing that to happen. I just feel like you're being a little too nice. I keep wanting to say that. I feel like you're being a little too nice. Uh, with this person you know what you might want to check out the Gemini readings that I've been putting out because Gemini has been kind of dealing uh, with a very similar um, issue that you currently find yourself in uh, what actions we have the wheel of fortune we got the nine of wands and then we also have the knight of wands okay let's look at your person how does this per I mean what actions will this person take towards Aries or moving forward? Mm -hmm. We have the Queen of Cups. Okay. We got the Eight of Pentacles. And then we also have the King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when it comes on to how you're currently viewing, I'm not, not, oh my God, I'm confusing myself at this point. When it comes on to how you plan on moving forward, you know, there's this overall energy coming from you. Um, as far as like you essentially feeling like things are not going to change and or improve and that's basically what you want You want things to change you want things to improve But you don't necessarily feel like things are going to change and or improve within this dynamic here between you and this person and It has a lot to do with just the stuff right that you've Endured while being involved with this person in particular and because you don't necessarily feel like things are going to change Because you don't necessarily feel like things are going to improve a lot of you feel like you kind of have no choice But to exit this relationship um, as quickly as possible now We got the king of pentacles we got the eight of pentacles and then we also have the queen of cups This is more of that overall energy of somebody who's still basically trying to convince you that things are going to be better this time around and that things are going to be different the problem is is that you don't necessarily seem to think so you're more so hung up on everything that this person has ever said to you and or put you through and that in itself is causing you to believe that things are not going to change that things are not going to necessarily improve you know it's like you've been down that road before it doesn't look like you have any sort of intentions of going down that road again but they're going to try to convince you otherwise. I know things are going to change. Things are going to get better this time around. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. But then this happens, right? Then this happens. We got the Eight of Cups and then we have the Tower. With the Tower, the Tower, listen, it's, it's linked to the devil. And they already have the devil attached to them. Which just goes to show that... Let's say for perfect example, you were to take this person back. It's only a matter of time before something hits the fan again. It's only a matter of time. It's inevitable. It's going to happen again, right? And unfortunately, it kind of looks like it's clearly something that they're doing on their end that keeps creating these tower moments here between you and them. So in other words, like I said, if you were to get back together with this person and you decide, okay, maybe things might be different this time around. It's only a matter of time before something hits the fan all over again and it, it is coming from something that they're doing on their end it's going to cause another tower moment it's going to cause another separation it's going to cause another ending here this feels like a vicious cycle and i feel like a lot of you already know that you currently find yourself in a very vicious cycle here with this person in particular now it's entirely up to you on whether or not you choose to give this person a second chance but let's see i want to see what you should do here what should Aries do? I want to entertain this. I really do want to entertain this here. Wait a minute. So we have the Empress, and then we also have the Emperor. The person that sits uh, in the chariot is the Emperor, and then we have the Ace of Wands. This kind of feels like a new person, to be completely honest. Don't get me wrong. You and this person from your past, you guys are showing up as a true pair to one another, which just goes to show that you guys are very compatible to one another. However, it's almost in a sense where it's like, 
God and the divine essentially wants you to continue to proceed forward with your life because there's something better out there for you. Um, and it is somebody that you're very compatible to. The relationship that you could potentially have with this new person is a lot better than the relationship that you had with this person that you were once upon a time involved with. I just feel like your intuition and your guides are really trying to guide you in the right direction here. But unfortunately, it does kind of feel like they're kind of pushing you away from this person, which makes sense if you think about it, because you obviously have your angels all around you trying to protect you, right? And it makes sense as to why we have <laughs> why we have the tower out here so many times, why we have the devil out here so many times, because temperance trumps the devil every single time. And the fact that you have temperance on your side just goes to show that God and the divine just doesn't want you to continue to involve yourself with this person. And I feel like your guides and, and God and the divine has been trying to show you that for quite some time. This is why we keep seeing the tower. This is why we keep seeing the devil. It's almost in a sense where it's like God and the divine's trying to create all of this madness here within this dynamic that you share with whoever this person is to the right of me to get you to see that this is not where you belong, so to speak. Um, but let's entertain this uh Ace of Wands here. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. You know what's interesting is that, and this it, this is something that you need to be very careful with when you do meet this person, okay? Because I feel like you go from feeling really confident with this new person to kind of second guessing absolutely everything. And I feel like it does have a lot to do with the fact that you are kind of comparing past situations um, that you've had with other people onto unfortunately this person, which is something that you need to be really careful about, okay? Um, let's keep looking into this new beginning though. Yeah, so there's just that double confirmation of what I've already said, right? There's something that's way better for you and it's more aligned to you and what you're looking for within a person. It could definitely even lead to marriage. You know, this next relationship that you get involved in, it's, it's not going to be that type of relationship that's just going to be in your life for a few months or possibly just a year. No, we're, we're, we're talking about decades here. We're talking about this could lead to marriage. The hair font basically represents marriage, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind that, you know what, not everything you lose is a loss and that definitely applies in this situation that you currently find yourself in granted you might be losing this person and you might still have a lot of emotions for this person and it might be hard to really wrap this entire cycle up between you and them but something way better is essentially waiting for you but you just have to continue to proceed forward and not look back that's what it all honestly boils down to also be aware be aware that when you do meet this new person, you might go from feeling really confident within this relationship uh, and within what it is that you guys are building with one another to kind of resorting to this Five of Swords energy of second guessing everything, questioning this person's intentions towards you. Try not to do that. I feel like the only reason why you're doing that has a lot to do with probably this experience that you just went through with this person or just, you know, overall experiences that you've had with people in general. So just be aware of that. I don't feel like I don't feel like it's going to cause, you know, you to self-sabotage this relationship here between you and whoever this new person is. I also feel like this person is going to enter your life during a time where you're not necessarily looking for love. It kind of looks like love is basically finding you in this situation. So be patient with the process. Just trust that there's something better out there for you that's more aligned to what you're looking for within a person. And like I said, it could definitely lead to marriage. And there's something about this relationship that is, you know, a lot better than what it is that you're once upon a time dealing with with this person in particular. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.